not have time for the what is going on? Where's the product? What is this? That's not enough product at all. Like, are they serious? This is what I'm talking about. I'm so annoyed. That is like really cricket. Hold on. <laughs> Jaclyn Hill. Woo! <laughs> when you talking mess, stuff be falling down. Come on, ride that train. And ride it. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like we need to do a Valentine's Day look and I have yet to play in this Pat McGrath palette. So let's use it and see what we can come up with. This is the palette right here. Here's what it looks like on the inside. And obviously I'm gonna be sticking around the burgundy and pink colors. So let's see what we get. We'll begin with our base, obviously. This is the Fenty Pro Filter Primer. And I'll link this below. If you've used it, let me know. And today I just feel like using this Lancome Tanti Doll. I wear the shade 555 Suede C. But I have the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation 485 in the bathroom. I don't feel like I want to get it. So let's use this one. And this shade in the Tanti Doll is dark for my skin tone. If you're new, this is what I like to do. Because when I finish my whole face, it comes together. And the brush that I'm using to blend my foundation is this flat color. Kabuki brush. All links to all products are gonna be down below. All right, this is a new concealer that I have from Rare Beauty. This is a shade medium deep. Let's see what this, <laughs> the wand is so unique. Look at that wand. It almost looks like something was wrong with it. Wait, where does the product come on to? I do not have time for the, what is going on? Where's the product? What is this? Is that how it's supposed to be? Have you tried this? What is going on? Is this, is this it? it, it <laughs> That's not enough product at all. Like, are they serious? Kat Von D. The shade I'm using for this concealer is in Tan 177. Uh-uh, that wasn't even giving me enough product. Are they serious? No, 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 no. This is what I'm talking about. Now when blending my concealer, I like to start in the middle of my eye like I did and then as I get to the outer edge of my face, there won't be any line of demarcation. I did a video where I just featured my soft glam look. So if you're looking for something more natural, then definitely look at that. That's in my playlist, which is for beginners. So it's a, I have a beginner makeup tutorial playlist, but obviously you clicked on this video because you wanted a bold look, you know what I'm saying? Pink, you know, blush colors, great for Valentine's Day or just whenever you feel like wearing pink. I love pink. I love to reverse highlight under my cheek. I don't have much product on this today, but that's okay, because you can still see it. I, of course, could take more, but that's okay, baby. We're going to end up making that look more pronounced with the powder foundation that I'll put underneath that you'll see very soon. Now, I love a good contour. This is the LYS Cream Bronzer and the color Worthy Deep. And this is a Rare Beauty foundation brush. And I used to wipe this right onto my face, but yo, I've learned far too many lessons to, to continue doing that. So now I just take it onto the brush because this is very, very, deep in such a beautiful way. And I chose this color because I like for my contour, actually this was sent to me, but I like for my contour to be deep. So the color is great, but knowing that it's so pigmented, I gotta go real easy with it by going light and then deepening it if I feel. So putting onto the brush first and then to the face is just better than to go boop, 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 boop. That's way too much product once I have blended it in. I mean, I've made it work in the past. I have felt some regret when I see ooh, how much product I be having on my face, I'd be like, oh dear Lord. So yeah, this just gives me way more control, wiping off the excess on the paper towel in front of me and then going back in to further blend. Cause once the product is on my face, I no longer want to continue to apply it. I now want to blend it. And I'm even going up a little bit to blend out any lines of demarcation. And then what's on here, like go like that and get it to do this subtle, Nose contour, you see? Is that subtle? What do you think? Comment, let me know. Mm -hmm. Oop, I need more product. There's not enough. I've wiped off too much. Mm -hmm. Taking some of the product on the brush, I'm going to wipe some excess off on the paper towel in front of me. I always keep a paper towel in front of me because that is a must. I basically am wiping off my brush so that I can blend instead of adding more product. I'm so annoyed. That is like really crooked. Hold on. <laughs> so let me take a little bit of the concealer here and use the pointy part of the sponge to blend, 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 and then go right down the middle to fix this very subtly. <laughs> 
it's gonna all come together don't worry it's gonna all come together the nose contour don't even need to be that crazy anyway like it needs to be there but it don't need to be like too much this is the huda beauty glowish luminous press powder in the color medium tn06 i like to use this and i'm gonna use the sephora 79 brush okay oh wait a minute oh my god i didn't even blend out my lines of demarcation ew and then i'm going around and keeping it in the same direction did you catch that <laughs> we gotta blend these lines of demarcation okay praise be and now this is looking very good very blended what do you think comment and let me know taking some of the product and going down the side of my nose right in here which is where the creasing normally takes place and the creasing is normal if you are a woman of a certain age honey you won't have creasing you feel me if you have a lot of fluid under your eye like eye bags and stuff no matter what age you are you gonna have the creasing if you have hollow under eyes you gonna have the creasing the creasing is normal okay going on the days at least in my opinion where we judged product on whether or not it was crease proof like come on now this is the elf camo in the color i have two of these so this one in particular is tan 450 n all right same brush and this is what i meant this is a powder foundation it's going to further amplify this highlighted area right here and boom that looks really pronounced right so the color not being so light wasn't a problem for me because look at that and even right here and i want this to be subtle anyway you know right down the of the face my forehead highlight Highlight isn't looking very loud and that is okay I am gonna do a face powder over this and you're gonna see what that means watch my video on face powders if you're like what like why because the face powders play a key role in my makeup looking bomb okay well I'm gonna use this bronze and sculpt situation from Patrick Sta. not to be confused by Patrick Sta, because it's just Sta and Sta and both Sephora it's just a lot you feel me this is the Sephora 59 brush and I'm using the middle color because these are very pigmented the middle color does it for me and I'm gonna throw my wig on at the end you feel me and I'm going all around the perimeter of the face and just deepening this contour yeah it doesn't need to be set per se although I do like my contour to be matte but I really just wanted to deepen the shade of my contour. Just make it more dramatic because when I put the blush over it and it's dramatic, it looks really, really good. If you still use this palette, let me know. Okay, this is the e.l.f. camo in the color Rich 610C Complex Culture Brush. Okay, going over everything brings the look all together. Love how this stuff just works. This stuff meaning face powders. Tell me that doesn't look good. This is very bright, but let's put it all over the cheek. I was gonna say to use this as a topper, but it's giving magenta and I think it looks really pretty. This is the Sephora Colorful Matte Powder in the color Hey Jealousy. And this is a MAC brush that I've had for a long time. I started in the front, which is not what I normally do, but I know that I didn't have a lot on the brush. So I knew that I would be okay to do that. When you have a blush that is very pigmented, start more here in the middle of the cheek, go up and then come to the front so that the majority of the product is more toward the hairlines. I could just tell that it wasn't, that was one tap, it wasn't a lot. So I was comfortable to go to the front, okay? <laughs> if you're a beginner, do the other thing that I was telling you about. And this is matte, nothing frosty. And I, I generally like a matte blush. I don't need anything frosty, especially since under my eye is so frosty. Like, why do I need more? You feel me? <laughs> why? And I feel like I could do more blush. If you would use more blush at this stage right now, comment and let me know. I feel like I need more blush, but I also don't want to overdo it. Let me not do too much because then I'll get outside and be like, oh, hey, blush. <laughs> You just there, you know? This is the Rare Beauty Fresh Highlight in the color Florence. I used to use the liquid one all the time. Taking some of this on my finger and going on the middle of my nose. But of the beauty sponge to help melt this into the skin. And actually, what if I put it into this? I just tapped it. And then go above my lip. I love to get the lip and right here. Ooh, I like it with the sponge. Less mess. With the nose, I do want it to be particular, but not look so much like a tire streak. I think it looks gorge. You comment and you let me know. Now let's do my brows before we do the eyes and then the lip. Now this is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Pencil in the color Natural Black. Why do people on the internet feel so inclined to offer advice that was never asked for? If I watch somebody's video and I see that their eyebrows look toe up, in my opinion, they might think 
think they look stupendous, okay? But I might think, God almighty, what is she thinking? You know, how dare, what? Mm -mm, that ain't it, you feel me? Again, and this is in my opinion, but people be really doing what they want to do, you know? And that's okay, hell, I don't own, I don't own the, the, the society of makeup. So with that said, I do what I want to do. So it's the unsolicited advice that just chokes me out every time. Why do some of y'all feel like you just, you're in you're entitled to just offer unsolicited advice. Now you might say, well, it's unsolicited. Don't mean you have to follow it. You write about that because I'm not going to do what, what some of these people tell me to do. Like, really? It's my life. It's my face, my body, my choice. You feel what I'm saying? But I just, oh, I just, just, cr I just cringe whenever someone offers unsolicited advice. If I say, oh, look at my brows. What do you think? that's when you offer the comment. But if I say nothing, <laughs> and then this is just how I do my brows, that is my choice, you know? Just like you choose what shoes to put on every day, I choose what the hell I wanna do my eyebrows, you know, praise the Lord. So I just wanted to say that because I think it's really important, you know? It's really, really important that everybody in the world do what they feel is best for them. Okay, this is the Jaclyn Hill, woo! <laughs> when you talking mess, stuff you pulling down. Jaclyn Hill concealer in a color deep, rich, golden. Okay, praise be. And I'm putting it behind my hand and taking a flat synthetic brush and I will link a dupe below. And I'm gonna start in the middle of my brow. I'm putting it down first and then going to carve so that there isn't so much product right under my brow. So you have to talk lower so I can really concentrate so I get this right. I mean, I do this quickly because I always do my brows. <laughs> I just don't want to mess anything up, you know? Now, I use an assortment of brushes. Please make sure that you look at my Amazon brush video if you want a whole set of brushes that are affordable that you can do a look with from beginning to end. This, by the way, is the Amicole translucent setting powder that is at Sephora. Black owned brand Senegalese. And this is a great powder. It just melts right into the skin. I'm putting it all over the under eye and on my eyelid itself. See how some fell? It, it's translucent. It's just gonna go right away. And I'm just using this to mattify the, the eye. If you've been here for a while, then you know, I used to swear by an eyeshadow base and I still wholeheartedly believe in eyeshadow bases, but I can't lie. When I'm in a brush, I don't be, like, I don't be doing that. When I do my swath glam look, I don't be doing eyeshadow bases. Like I just, I just gotta get it on and go, you know? But today we will do an eyeshadow base because I'm using color. I just feel just this, the training in me. I feel like it's just strange to, now I know brown's a color but just hear me out, okay? And I'm not doing the neutrals. I like to use the base. I really used to like to use base all the time, but if you understand, you understand. The leftover product on this brush from the contour is what I was putting there to ensure that there was no line of demarcation. So this is the MAC Paint Pot and the shade is Soft Oka. Soft Oka, okay? O-C-H-R-E, Oka. Ochre, you know what I'm saying. And I am pressing this on. This goes on a lot easier and faster when I'm using my fingers, but my nails are so long that that is not gonna work today. So wiping off the excess and now blending this in. This does not need to go all the way up to my brow bone. Like you already have product today with the concealer. It ain't, it ain't necessary, but let's make sure that there is no line of demarcation because that will show. It's a cream product that helps the eyeshadow not to crease and it helps to amplify the color of the shadow. Now it's not equal, but that's okay. They don't need to be equal. Let's see what this Pamograph palette's talking about. Pamograph Artistry palette. Ooh, I like the big old huge mirror. Okay, dough and key. So I'm gonna start off with this top burgundy type color. I'm going in my crease with a dark color. I should have gone with a lighter one first, but this is my first time using the palette, so I just didn't know what this was gonna look like. That's okay though. All right, we're gonna build this up. This is giving burgundy vibes right now. This eyeshadow is blending beautifully, I would say. Big, huge huge palettes like this are good for makeup artists. Hence why this is called an artistry palette because you've got an assortment of colors that can be used for many different looks. For granted, this palette doesn't have every color on the horizon in it, but it does have a bunch of options. So this is very pigmented. So I'm focusing it in the crease, wiping off the excess, and then going into blend. When you're applying your eyeshadow, there are two stages. There's the application 
and then there's the actual blending of that product. The mannerisms of the brush may look the same, but I'm doing two different things, okay? So now I'm taking this more reddish pinkish color to make this look more like a horizon. And I did that very softly and quickly because that color is really pigmented. I did not know how pigmented it's gonna be. It's beautiful. What right here between the brow bone and the crease that I just did. And I'm now cleaning off my brush, but I do need some more. I see a little gap area right here. I'm pressing very lightly. I really wanna just like get this here and sometimes just patting it like that is good. And then wiping off the excess. The brush still has product on it, but not a lot. And I'm lightly, lightly feathering this so that it is dispersed, okay? Nothing too harsh. That is gorgeous. What? Yes! This is a Sephora 14 brush and I'm gonna do the first burgundy color. This is very pigmented because just one stroke and I've covered my under eye. This is great. Cleaning it off on the paper towel in front of me and now I am blending. Do you see that? First was the application, more in a pressing fashion, a little bit of a swiping fashion, clean, 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 and then we were blending, okay? More watermelon looking color lightly over this because I want it to look blended and honest to God, just that did it for me. Like we're not pressing this, just like lightly wanting to get it in there and it is it is done. This is good, okay? Wiping off the excess furiously on the paper towel in front of me and now I am lightly blending so that there are no lines that are harsh, no lines of demarcation, okay? So there's that. And now with a flat, fluffy brush, let's go with a light pink. This is the light pink color. So taking some of that product, tap off the excess because of fallout. I gotta keep my head down for this one, okay? This looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, I used to love doing pink and purple eyeshadow looks. When I worked in the office, oh my God, I used to kill those racist haters with all kind of eyeshadow looks every day. Let me tell you, ooh. Anyway, I'm using left and right windshield wiper motions to apply this. Now listen, I've used many a pink in my life and normally pinks, I don't know if it's the formulation that's difficult, but they tend to be blotchy, patchy, just weird. And with this left and right motion, I am not getting any issues. So this expensive palette is worth it for these colors that I've used thus far because with this pink, I'm not having issues. If you've used pink as an eyeshadow before, because not everyone does, comment and let me know because uh, you know what I mean. Some of these pinks be ridiculous. It's like, it ain't even blending how it's supposed to blend. But do you see how this is giving soft cut crease vibes? It's looking like I did a cut crease and like not really, kind of, sort of, but not really. Looks so cute. Okay, now I'm gonna take that watermelon color some more and go right here to just give this some zhuzh. Ooh, I love how it's giving like sunset vibe. That makes me so happy. Now, ooh, should I put a purple as an eyeliner? What do you think? I think I should, why not? We're here. Unusual, unconventional, we love that. This is the dark purple, maybe bluish undertone purple. I don't know if it'll show nicely, let's see. Oh yeah, what do you think? That's gorge, looking down because I can't afford fallout on my face. I'm just about done, you feel me? Pressing this in, this is a MAC brush. I've had this brush maybe 10 years. Okay, so I took some of the purple and put it under my eyes softly. I am gonna do a black eyeliner. Now to highlight, ooh, this frosty color is, well, okay, now I just saw a different one. I was gonna go here with this one, but I'm gonna go here because it's pink. A finger would be good, but my nails won't allow me to use my finger. If you plan on recreating this look, comment and let me know. And you can do this with or without this eyeshadow palette. Just follow the different shades, right? Find different eyeshadow palettes and mix them together and just do the same technique, okay? And this is the Lip Bar Straight Out of Patience Eyeliner. And I'm smudging it under my eyes. I did do a video where I showed you, what, I think it was three ways to do eyeliner, to wear eyeliner. So make sure you watch that video if you're just curious on how you can wear your eyeliner. I love how this looks smoky underneath. And then the dark fluffy lashes are gonna really take this up and make it look like, you know, more dramatic. 
Let's use the Amicola mascara. And this is actually really pretty. I mean, wow. Now you know that my mascara of choice on the bottom is always Lawless One and, is it One and Done? I be calling it all kind of, yeah, 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 it's One and Okay. And then my favorite lashes, D22 AliExpress, under $2. I link it down below all the time. I love these lashes. But I buy these in bulk, okay? Keep them on deck so that when you need them, you have them. You feel me? You know, I feel now you're gonna be trying to order something right now you need it because it's gonna take a while to get to you. You feel what I'm saying? Cutting off the edges because I don't like that little strip that be there. So just cutting off that edge, you feel me? And then using the glue. And I like to use the Kiss INV glue. Listen, I am a recovering bonding glue user. I know. I'm a recovering bonding glue user. Listen, if you started doing makeup 10 years ago, you used bonding glue. I don't care, you lying. Don't tell me you were using Duo. While that glue cures a little bit, let's use the Maybelline Superstay ink. This is one of the new ones. This is the color 140 Charged. 140 Charged, ooh. Is this a plum? Wow. Oh, it's plum. This is dark, wow. Oh my gosh, on the inside, let's do another Maybelline 125 Inspirer. This is gonna match my eye to the T. Is that too much? <laughs> wow, this is like, come on, ride that train. And ride it. <laughs> blend, 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 honey. I don't know about this lip, but lashes on. I'm gonna use this tool from Revlon because my nails are too long. Normally I'll use my fingers to press all of this on and I leave the end because I don't like anymore how when I press the end, it just makes my eyes look ridiculous. I think this lip is too matchy-matchy. <laughs> Comment and let me know what you think. But I'm a little annoyed because I don't have time to like redo this. I think it looks too matchy-matchy, although you might think it looks fantastic. You let me know, okay? Lawless, one and done underneath. <laughs> I feel like putting a gloss on this. Okay, this is a Lawless to get the filler. Gloss shade is called Daisy Pink. Ooh, I don't know if this is a good idea. <laughs> oh, I'm further annoyed, wow. <laughs> this is not what I was trying to do today at all. Was oh, this a fail or what? Is this a fail? What is this? <laughs> the liner is too dark. It's giving MAC plum, and that wasn't what I wanted. And we're back. This hair is dark, and like I said, I feel like the the liner is just too dark, but here we are nonetheless, okay? This is some hair that I just curled up today that I've literally had for maybe two years, maybe three years now. I bought this wig a long time ago. Anyway, let me know what you think about this look. I think it came out cute. It's just not like what I was thinking, but I think it came out cute. I will link all the links down below as always, and I'll see you in the next video.